All right, here we are with John's 63 Studebaker Avanti. Um, rare bird. He actually gave me this backstory on it. It was actually owned by someone who was a higher up at Studebaker. And this was that guy's wife's car. And that's why it has a vinyl top. Um, it's a very, very rare, it's pretty much non-existent actually, that you see a vinyl top on an Avanti. Pretty cool. Interior matches the exterior. It is a factory air car. Um, no idea if that works. But we have a whole list of things to do. Um, I've already pulled the air cleaner because it didn't want to behave fire to move it earlier. But it's got a very nice AVS2 Edelbrock carb. Quality, good stuff. Um, yeah, so I know we have to do the fan clutch, hoses, drain the coolant, timing cover reseal, belt, oil pan reseal, rear main seal, possibly do the bearings, main and rod. I'm assuming we will, but. Don't hold me to that. I'm going to check them first if they look brand new inside. And we might not do that. But away we go. So just put the car up on the lift and start draining fluids and all that. Um, first thing I noticed, you're going to need control arm bushings, shock bushings, or new shocks. Yeah, I'm getting pretty bad, buddy. We're gonna need to talk about that one for a little future project. Definitely glad you sent along a radiator cap because there is no rubber left on this one. All right, draining the cooling system. Ooh, uh, that is some very, very thin anti-free. To drain the oil. Oh. Dirty. Okay, so one little thing I've noticed is up here at the top of the accelerator pump on your fairly new Albert carb, it's got residue. Like there's fuel seeping out up here. It's kind of brown and gummy, which always, you know, the fuel filter is as well a little bit. But that always tells me that it's getting varnishy. It's sitting um, without stabilizer or anything inside it. So that might be something we need to address and work on cleaning. Um, but let's get her back up and running first, and I'll do some adjustments here, timing wise. And choke wise and all the fun because it's all the fun of an Avanti so moving forward I am pulling off the expansion tank next and the accessories we get our fan out of here get our shroud out of here kind of get things cleared up and out so we can get to that timing cover and start on that oil pan as well. All right, so getting the heater hoses off. Already got our alternator out of the way. That's a whole nother fun headache. Um, but pulling out the heater hoses, look at all the crusties come out of here. Ugh, this is so bad. literally poking into chunks of the 
deposits and God knows what. Um, there's definitely going to need to be some flushing involved here with the cooling system. Um, but like I said, alternator's out. One issue we had on the alternator as well, the field connector did not separate and the solder joint, ah, come on, the poor solder joint on the alternator itself gave up the ghost and popped out. So we get to take that apart and fix that because it is corroded. But everything else came off pretty good. Getting the uh, compressor and all this out. Going to get the expansion tank out. Going to have this baby pretty much torn apart at the front of the engine today. Come on, focus again. All right. That is damn near clogged. Oh, God. Yeah. Heater hose. Yeah. I'm glad we're taking all this apart because this is really bad. Okay, so I've just pulled what usually would be known as the thermostat housing on the expansion tank. No thermostat. None at all. This tank's been repaired. It's still piddling water out. It has seen better days. It looks like it's been leaking over here and here. I mean, they've halfway repaired that, it looks like, but I might give uh, Gary at Bob's Radiator a call, see if I can make a run out there early next week or something, have him take care of this for us. I'm going to send him some pictures. Be like, hey, can you do this? while I'm there. All right, shroud is out. Getting ready to take that fan and fan clutch assembly out of there. Get that all out of the way. We'll take care of our accessories, our water crossover and water pump. And hopefully, before it gets too late today, we can have the timing cover off. That would be incredible. All right, so plugging away. Got the power steering pump up and out of the way. And your assumptions with your fuel pump leaking are correct. Definitely going to want to maybe rebuild that or even replace at this point. I actually got a replacement for Scott and Sandy's Avanti a year or two ago for a pretty reasonable price. Let me know, let me know. All right, I'm gonna start getting the rest of this water pump nonsense off on this side. And then I gotta finish up getting our AC BS over there. Um, most of the fan clutch bolts are out, but of course it started spinning on me, so I wanna get everything else out of here. Maybe I'll just pull the whole damn thing off with the pump and take apart the rest of the way on the bench. Anyway, here we are. Plugging away. So I started pulling up this water crossover bolt. I get the rain in the back. Oh my god. I'm a bit terrified. Alright, so I'm here down below getting ready to pull lower hose and undo this idler slash tensioner for the AC and let me get a good shot of it the bearing on the back side of that idler is coming apart and you can see that's not good and that also explains the greasy mess fun all right, we got our water pump unbolted. Gonna get this whole hot mess out of here. And I'm gonna move that AC compressor hot mess, which conveniently has loose bolts and whatnot going on over there. And then we can start getting close to our fucking timing cover. Whew, it's hot. All right, we got our water pump out, which was a battle. 
Let's talk about the condition of these belts that were on the car. Holy moly, I had to cut this one because it was stuck, but we have new belts anyway, but holy cow. Good Lord. Oh. Whew. All right, well, water pump's out. Um, the radiator has obviously seen better days. Um, doesn't look like it was leaking. It would definitely be worthy of uh, pressure testing. But we can discuss that later. Like tomorrow. Uh, my next mission, of course, I do have to pull the AC compressor with its brackets and all that, which isn't too bad. Get that up and out of the way, tuck it over there, just toss it up over yonder there. Oh, sweat's pouring in my eyes. And then probably going to remove the radiator so we have room to access crank pulley and the balancer. We're gonna have to pull a fuel pump. But we're gonna probably do that anyway. And then timing cover and oil pan. But before we do the oil pan, I gotta get down there to the start, not the start of the steering. Pull off a little something down there. I'll get to that in the next video because it's about quitting time. It's 117 degrees. I have to turn the fan off every time I want to shoot video so you can hear me. So here we are, but holy moly, making progress.